Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Lovely to see you guys again today. Today, really, I've got a pound lounge um, haul. It's not really much, but to be honest with you, it was just an excuse to get on to see you guys, to see what you were up to, what you were doing, you know? Um, yeah, I went to Poundland um, in my local area just to have a look around and, you know, obviously, yeah, I picked up a few bits. Not nothing major, just nothing major, but I thought I'd come on anyway and show you what I, I got from Poundland. Here's my Poundland bag. Um, yeah, so what's today? Today is Friday. Today is Friday and it's still gloomy. It's not going to be any different now from now until about February, isn't it? That's February, end of February is when it starts to get back that spring feeling again. But I love the winter feeling. I do like the winter feeling. When I'm inside, obviously, I don't like to be out in the rain and the cold. I hate the blimmin' cold. I really do. Anyway, let me show... Oh, before I go any further, guys, please do not... Um, uh, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button. That would be absolutely fantastic if you could just hit that little red button. And let's carry on with the haul, shall we? Yes, so just picking out in random order. Now picking up a few bits from my son's stocking, you know, just a little few bits for him to open. I don't want to go overboard with the stocking. Well, I say that, let's see how this all pans out. So I bought this and it's an, a calculator, but in a, game, um, in a game form. And this was a pound 50, guys, a pound 50, just a little small um, stocking filler. And obviously he's doing his sats, he's doing his sats this year. So obviously he's gonna need a calculator, even though he tries to do everything on his hand and his head. I just thought I'd put that in his stocking filler for him. And I like it, I actually like it for myself, to be fair. <laughs> Probably I end up using it more. So, and the next thing I picked up, now I've seen people talk about this um, pillow spray, meant to make you feel relaxing and it's got essential oils in there and it gives you a good night's sleep. How that works, I don't know. But I have to say, I'm not a great sleeper. I wake up, like, I go to bed maybe 10 and I wake up about 4. And um, oh, there's a, my favourite, one of my favourite YouTubers that I watch. And she usually uploads about 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes. So in time to catch her haul and then maybe I might have a nap and then go back to bed and, and get up about 6 or 7. Um, yeah, so I'm, I want to see if this really works. I'll let you know how that goes, guys. I don't know, I don't know. Let's see how it smells. Actually, this might be a good stocking filler as well, wouldn't it? Shouldn't it? It'd be all right. This, this would be a good stocking filler. Let's see what else. Oh, they've stuck it in the bottom of the box. Let's see, let's see how this smells. I mean, I don't want to sleep now. I might spray it and I'll go to sleep straight away. <laughs> I don't want to smell it. Oh, it smells nice. It's, it does smell nice. What is the, what is the uh, scent? Um, I don't know what the scent is. But it's nice, it's nice, I could deal with that. It, you know, because you don't want to spray things on your pillow and you get a headache. It, it, it makes you have a headache more than a sleep. Don't want that. Anyway, what else did I get in here? Well, talk of the devil. My pound glasses. I have, I think maybe every other haul that I've done in the past has a pound glasses. You know, I cannot go to Specs Rape Savers and spend 200 pounds on a glass card or 400 or whatever it is now, because I'll lose them. I'm only at like a 1.25, 1.50. So I picked up these from the pound shop. Now they've gone up. They've gone up to pound fifty. I understand that they've been £1 for a long time. You look, they're trying to make money. They're, it's a business. So it's only 50p more. And I bought these ones. And I think I bought some more. Because my other half is starting to use them with me. <laughs> He's started to use my glasses. Like, where's the glasses? Where are the glasses? I can't find none. Mad. Then I bought this... Um, a bath slime fizzer that's for another sort of stocking filler and uh, it's stain free it says here uh it's got like a soda apple fragrance if you can see there but this looks like a lot of fun doesn't it anything to do with baths i'm new with as well i'm a big kid too and it's not for me obviously i swear to god it's not for me it's for me son <laughs> this is gonna go in his little i don't know it either goes in his stocking um or his christmas eve box i don't know but it's for something like that all right sorry about that my door went my door went I'm, I'm, i had a delivery come from zara and um they come in different stages anyway i had to go and get the door so anyway that was that so this is the slime um bar fizzer and that will go in the christmas eve box 
for my little one and um looks really fun i love it yeah so that's that what else did i get for you guys not for you guys for me obviously i've got a load of um batteries it's the worst thing when you buy all these gadgets around christmas and you don't have any batteries oh have you got any batteries here have you got any? everybody wants batteries so i start picking up my batteries well i've always got batteries in the house for the more controls for all sorts um and i picked up a load of these i think i've got a couple yeah i've got a couple of them there somewhere and what are they what are they one pound fifty now they're not a pound anymore are they or they're one pound and you get less in it it's always something like this it's, it's going to cut somewhere isn't it so loads of batteries for all their bits and bobs and then i picked up some more of these oh i've got loads of these all over the place to be honest with you by the time christmas is over they're all going to bin they all go in the bin. They all do go in the bin. I might keep a few, but um, it's just too much. I, just, I, I do. I know it's probably bad. I should recycle them, but after you use them a few times, they're no good anyway. They, they're no good, but I've got this um, sort of snowflake one, and it's got eight lights in there, and that was a pound fifty. It's a pound fifty now. They're not a pound. I'm sure it's not a pound. I don't even know what the receipt is to tell you. And then, what else did I forget? Oh, I've got another one of these. I've got another one. I've got two of them. Don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but I'll, trust me, there'll be places I'll find to put them. There will be places. Yeah. And then, oh, why do I just get excited when I show you a lot of food or chocolates? I don't know why. Anyway, look at this. Look at this After Eight sticks. I love After Eights. After Eights is one of those childhood memories. Everyone had either After Eights or quality streets and then along came the roses didn't it and then i think it was celebrations after that i mean you know but the original quality quality streets you need quality streets in your house don't you if if, if you if you're from england anyway I, know, I don't know for other countries but i know we always have a box of well i have a couple because they go like mad and they're expensive now they've, they've got a bit expensive so yeah i bought these and this this was about 125 um, I don't even know why I bought it now because they'll be gone before Christmas. They will be gone before Christmas. In fact, when I come offline to you guys, I'll be munching this down with a cup of tea. I will. And then I picked up some candy cap. This is from the hot chocolate station. Oh, is it the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. Some candy cane straws, 25 in a pack, a pound. Not bad, not bad. I'm sure you used to get 50 in a pack for a pound yeah it is what it is isn't it and then what else did i get oh what else did i get oh i've got some more glasses i've got a different style now this one i bought the brown one from from the other half so you can stop using the ones i get because he puts them in his work bag and he's off of them what do they look like shall i show you what they look like on me they don't look really nice i look like a professor trust me i don't have a brain as a professor far from not clever oh what do you think i quite like quite lot this off take it off oh i don't mind the, the brown one it's actually all right do you think it's okay well let me know do i look good cheers <laughs> yeah i love this i do like these ones i think i'll take them ones uh, what else did i get right oh and picked up this for my sister just a little gift for my sister she's not really a christmas person um, well, she's a Christmas person, but she don't overdo it. So I've just bought, I bought a little manne mannequin um, gift, just something for her to open on Christmas day. She's so special to me, my sister, my sister Nat. We thought, you know, um, she is so special. She's just got the heart of gold, heart of gold. If you, you think I'm funny, you think I'm, um, no, she is just amazing. She's just, just the best sister in her, in the world, her and Jen, my sister Jen. Um, <laughs> And I always treat them. I always treat them. I always treat them because they deserve it. And my mother. Yeah. Anyway, let's stop going on about my family. <laughs> but there you go. Some gold manicure set. And I paid four pounds for this. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? I really like that. You know, just a small little gift for her to open up. And every who doesn't need a manicure set? Well, not me. My I never do my nails. Only because I just don't have time to be going into the shops doing my nails. And I suffer from eczema on my hands. Really bad. Really dry hands. Really, really dry hands. And I can't be arsed with all this um, nail business. Um, so that's why my nails look... A, it's not the best. 
So, I mean, you can't be putting on nail varnish on these little knobs. Never mind. Right, and then the last thing I've got to show you, which is my favorite, and I love it, I love it, is, let me show you, Father Christmas. Well, you know how I feel about a Father Christmas. Do you know, I want to get my, before I show you, I want to get myself the one that stands up. You know the big inflatable ones that stands at the door? So when you come to my house, you'll know which house to come to because you'll see the big inflatable um, Father Christmas to come and greet you. And he will say, my wife is back there. My wife is in the kitchen. Me. I'm talking about me. Well, who knows? I might get one. Every year, I, I promise myself I'm going to get one. Maybe. It's only because most times when I see them, my hands are already full of loads of stuff and they usually have them at the doorway, don't they, as you walk out the store. Anyway, here's my little um, biscuit jar. Really cute. He is so cute. I think I've paid about £4 for this. I think I've paid about £4 for him. And I love him. I love you. I do. Yeah. Father Christmas. I love him. Anyway, that's my last item for this haul not a big one just a very small one but it was only an excuse to get on to you guys to see what you guys were doing what are you guys doing today you know i have been you know as you know i'm a chat box as you know i can chat i'm trying to do better i'm trying to do be better with the chatting but i've been really chatting to you guys and you know what it's so lovely um, chatting to some of you guys now I do want to say to one of my subscribers that I've really been talking to she's going into hospital and you know when she told me about her operation that she was having I was like oh my god my darling I just hope that you're going to be okay and so if you're watching watching if you're watching now my heart goes out to you my darling and I hope you have a very speedy speedy recovery I'm thinking I'm trying I was trying to, I was going to message you back through YouTube, but send me your email, darling. You know who, you're, who I'm talking to. Send me your email. Let me know how the, the operation went. And um, let me just know that you're, you know, you, you're, you're okay and you're recovering and you've got your family around you and you, you're all right. Just let me know. I want to know, you know, I want to know. So send me your email. Um, just looking on my site, you'll find my email and we talk, all right? Um, she's such a dedicated person and such a beautiful soul um, and you can tell this through her her messaging lovely person and I've got some beautiful I've also got another one lady who's telling me what she's doing for Christmas and that tell me about her family and do you know I feel like I'm, I've known a lot of you for years I feel like I've known a lot of you for years and I just oh I just love that and Peter Peter, did you get your, your, your parcel? Let me know in the comments um, below, below. Let me know if you got your parcel. And um, I'm waiting for you, that, that picture. I'm waiting for the picture, Peter, yeah? <laughs> um, yeah, so guys, look, that's the end of my haul today. I really, really, really appreciate you staying with me, what, 10 minutes? Only 10 minutes? That's quite short for me. Um, I don't have her come shop with me today because they never, it was the same as the last time. Um, I am going to cut down the amount of times I um, upload. I don't want to bombard you all with videos every day, you know, because you probably get sick of me. I'm like, oh, I don't want to see her again. I want you to crave me. So I'll upload maybe, I don't know, two, three times a week. Let's see how it goes. Maybe for this month. Maybe for Vlogmas, we'll start um, doing it every day. But for now, let me do it every couple of weeks. Because, uh, not a couple of weeks, every couple of days in the week or something or when i get it well to be honest when i get it i'll post it in it like you know but if you don't see me one day it's definitely going to be on a saturday a, a sunday and it's definitely be on a wednesday anything in between is a bonus just 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 remember that anyway guys um look the sun, you can see the sun coming through now what is it what time is it um oh God, it's not even on the tv it's about it's about 2 30 it's about 2 30 that's what it is about now and the sun is coming through. Even though it's a very gloomy day, the sun is coming through. I love it. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. Please don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button. And I will see you in my next video. Take care for now. And I love you guys. Bye-bye.